guys. Um, so I've been a bit busy with exams lately just for university and stuff, but um, I did manage to score some great products from a New Zealand company that was having a sale. So I just really wanted to show you some of the stuff that I've got and uh, also a couple of the models that I've just been working on between my downtime. Um, so let's go and have a look. Alright, so here's a bit of a plug for uh, Slave to Painting. They're a Christchurch company um, and they sell paints in like New Zealand, Australia and all your gaming products as well. Um, yeah, they're a really good company to deal with. Uh, check them out either at that website or follow them on Facebook. Um, just wanted to show you guys some of the stuff I got. Managed to pick up some paints for a great deal. Um, I've got some really nice weathering pigments from Secret Weapon. Uh, if you follow people like Templar's Crusade, you'll see he does uh, reviews on them as well, so go and check him out. Um, there's also this stuff that I really wanted to try, which is a Secret, secret Weapon crushed glass. Um, it's supposed to be really good for snow effects, but yeah, just make sure you read the caution labels, because apparently, as you would assume with crushed glass, it can be quite bad for... Uh, inhalation and stuff like that. Um, also just like the secret weapon uh, washes, love like the baby poop and sewer water and stuff like that, just really keen to try them out. Um, some really nice scenic stuff from secret weapon again and also one of these, never seen them before but the sack of skulls, supposed to be like heaps in there, did a quick count, may not look like it but there's like 83 in there which is it's just ridiculous and a great price too. Um, and finally I just wanted to grab this mini because I just love the look of him. He's a Avatars of War mini, the Goblin Shaman. Uh, that's kind of like what he looks like when he's all done. Great looking mini and fantastic cast as well. So yeah, go and check these guys out. Um, they usually throw in some goodies as well. Oh, and they threw in this bonus um, stuff from Mantic for us to try. Uh, don't know if you guys can see that too well. Basically that looks like it's a um, uh, like a dead or undead army kind of thing. I'm not too sure. Haven't really checked Mantic out too much, but they are fantastic looking sculpts. They're really, really nice. And also got a couple of Orcs by the look of it as well to check out. So I'm really looking forward to painting them because they are really, really nice. Alright guys, I'll just show you what I've painted up lately. Okay guys, um, not too sure what this model is but just really like the dynamics of it. Um, just really tried to go for a concrete effect on the gigantic thing on his back and kind of a dead skin look as well. Uh, let me know what you think. And coming up next time, hopefully I'll have these guys finished. If you can guess what it is, wait and stay tuned.